Who wants to be a millionaire? Axel Mugemba, welcome. Thank you. You know, the first time I heard your name, I thought it was a part of a car. <laughs> I wasn't so sure whether it was a spelling mistake or what, but well, welcome, man. We'll try to make the car. First question. For 100,000 shillings, the question is, which of these is an Olympic sport? Is it A, hugging? B, texting? C, swimming? Or is it D, chanting? That's going to be C, swimming. <coughs> Final answer? Final answer. Of course it's swimming. 100,000 shillings. Congratulations to you. Let's go for 150,000 shillings, and that's question number two. And the question is, what does PO in a mailing address stand for? Past offenses, painters offered, parents' office, or post office? Post office. D? D. Final answer? D. Yeah, post office. Okay. Normally comes, of course, before the word box. And so it is D indeed, and that earns you 150,000 shillings. Let's go to question number three, which will earn you 200,000 shillings. The question is, which of these is a wireless communication technology? Is it A, black tooth? B, white tooth? C, red tooth? Or D, blue tooth? Bluetooth. D. Bluetooth. Final answer. Final answer. D. Bluetooth is obviously correct. It was named after a Nordic king. We're going to go for question number four, and that's for 300,000 shillings. So far, so good. You're really nailing these things. Yeah? Feeling confident? The question is, how many days are in a fortnight? Are they A. 1, B. 4, C. 7, or D. 14? Fortnite. That's D. 14 days. 14 days. Yes. Okay. That's my final answer. That's correct. And that's 300,000 shillings. You're one step away from your first secure level, which is 500,000 shillings, which will guarantee that you can walk away with 500,000 shillings. Now, the question for that is, a very gentle wind is a what? Is it a breeze? A gale? A whiz or a wave? Well, there will be A, a breeze. Final answer. Final answer. A breeze is the correct answer. Congratulations to you. Well done. Well done. Well done. For 700,000 shillings, the question is, which artist is also known as Mazimawavo? Is it A, Babaluku, B, Mose Radio, C, Bobby Wine, or is it D, Ragadi? Wow. Local music. Mm. Not so good there. You're not good at local music. Okay. So what do you listen to then? <laughs> I should have listened to some. Yeah. The names get difficult once in a while. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll go for C. Bobby Wine. Take your time. You're going to go for C. Remember, your lifelines are still intact, so if you need any help whatsoever, you can put those to use. It could either be that you ask the audience, you phone a friend, or you go 50-50. I'm going to ask the audience. Okay. Audience, our friend Axel would like your help. The question is, which artist is also known as Mazimawav? Is it A. Babaluku? B. Mose Radio, C. Bobby Wine, or Raggedy. Press now. 100% of the audience have come back with an answer. Everybody says, 
that it is C, Bobby, Bobby Wine. Wine. I'll go for C, Bobby Wine. Trust the audience. Final answer. Final answer. Computer log C. If you had said Raga D I'm not trusted the audience You'd have walked away with 500,000 shillings So congratulations to you, 700,000 shillings Well done, well done. That was great. well done The next question is What are Autobots and Decepticons? Are they A, transmitters, B, traders, C, transceivers, or D, transformers? What are Autobots and Decepticons? Transformers. D, transformers. <laughs> you look pretty confident. I hope so. I hope not. Final answer? Final answer. Autobots are from a planet called Cybertron. And they are indeed Transformers. Okay, we go to the next question, which is going to earn you 1.5 million shillings. You're pretty close now. Only eight steps away from 25 million shillings that can be yours, okay? The question is, which tombs of the Buganda Kings are UNESCO World Heritage Sites? Are they A, Kureka Tombs? B, Chabagu? C, Chiimba? Or D, Kasumi? Are they A, Kureka? B, Chabagu? C, Chiimba? Or D, Kasumi? It is D, Kasubi. Have you been to Kasubi? Yes, I have. How long ago? We're going to catch you here if you're lying. Well, it's been about two years. <laughs> two years ago? Yes. That's before they were burnt down. Before they were burnt down. Okay. Yeah, yeah they, they, they were still up then. Yeah. And is D your final answer? D is my final answer. Kasubi. They're indeed recognized as World Heritage Sites. And D is the correct answer. Okay, Axel, are you ready for question number 10? Yes. The question is... Cooking oil and langoma is searching. A plays by which Ugandan playwright? Deborah Asimwe. Charles Mulekwa. Angela Emurod, Wycliffe Chiyinji. That will be Deborah Asimi. A. Are you sure? I am sure. We still have two lifelines, remember? Have you read any of her work? I, I read her other award-winning play. Which one? Tereka, Will Smith Lookalike. Okay. Yeah. So you are pretty confident about this? Pretty confident. Have you come across any of the two plays? Uh, no, I, I heard that Cooking Oil was showing some time in Kampala last year. I didn't watch it though. So it's your final answer? Yeah, it's my final answer. A. Three point five million shillings. 
Well done. Well done. Who wants to be a millionaire?